Do not know. Okay. What do you think about the Bhagavad Gita? Well, I think the Bhagavad Gita is a really interesting text. I've read it probably twice. Um, I, I see Arjuna as another messianic type. But uh, the Bhagavad Gita comes very late. It's it's a late text. It's not. It's it's after the Mahabharata, uh, and the Mahabharata is pretty late. It's a Hindu text. It's not as old as the older Sanskrit. It's not like the Atharva Veda, the Rig Veda, uh, even the even the commentary is called the Puranas. Yeah, guys, I'm well read. I have read all these texts, and the Puranas I haven't read them all because there there are thousands of pages. There are hundreds of commentaries spread out. No one. Really, I don't even know how if anybody even knows how many Pur Puranic texts there are. There's a lot of them. It's like the Talmud. Anybody who tells me they read the whole Talmud, I'm real skeptical, man, because that's a, that's like encyclopedic. It's a lot of volumes, and it's really hard to keep up with how many there are. So, uh, I don't know. The Bhagavad Gita it has it had a lot of value. Uh, it has fragments of, of ancient history from about 1899 BC to to the 17th century BC. The Bhagavad Gita covers that area in history right there, uh, right after the great war that's mentioned in the Mahabharata called the Battle of Kuruksada, which I need to do a video on. One of the great wars between the East and the West, where giants fought on both sides. 